Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're doing a full day wear test on the brand new Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation as well as her Easy Blur Primer. Now before we jump into the actual video, I do have to say that this is the second time I have filmed this video because I realized as I was editing that I did not film the first portion, the intro and literally the application of the foundation. So you will see a difference. I don't know at what point, but you will see an outfit change, my hair and my makeup will look totally different. I just really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So I hope you don't mind that and I hope you enjoy today's testing out of the Huda Beauty Foundation. My thoughts and my final review will be towards the end, so make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel, comment because it really does help the algorithm. So with that said, grab your cafecito. Today I am drinking my morning coffee still because I woke up super late. I'm getting ready for a birthday party, so I need to get glam. And with that said, grab your brushes, grab your cafecito, and let's jump right into today's review. So like I mentioned, this is the second time I'm going to film this video. Thankfully, I only have to film a small portion because I have about an hour to get ready. Because I have already tried this foundation, worn it full day, I know what it's going to do to my skin. And I'm just going to put this out there. This does make me a little bit oily. So with that said, I'm still going to give you a little bit of information about the primer. So this is a primer that retails for $29. It is, again, the Easy Blur Silicone Free Smoothing and Pore Minimizing Primer. Now, this is best for dry combo and normal skin, which I am not. I am oily, but this is supposed to give you a matte finish, and it's supposed to literally blur out your pores. I have my skin prepped and ready to go. What I have to say is that this primer literally will make you look like you have a filter on your skin okay a little goes a long way you don't want to overdo it especially if you are oily you don't need that much if you suffer from texture skin large pores um just whatever if you don't have really smooth skin which hello who does well maybe some people do i don't <laughs> but if you have yeah just large pores and texture on your skin this is really going to even it out I don't know if it's the primer and the foundation or if it's only the foundation that literally looks amazing. But when I wore these two, my skin looked flawless. Now let's go in with the foundation. Again, the Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. I am in the shade Amoretti 310G. I matched myself and I think I did a great job. Now this one retails for $37. Y'all, I spent about $70 dollars in a primer and foundation that is criminal in this economy ma'am but here i am reviewing it for you guys so i believe they have close to 30 shades it is medium coverage and it has a natural finish it also has niacinamide which usually helps brighten skin and it helps with the control of like excess sebum which i like that it's supposed to be lightweight, again, medium to buildable coverage with non-comedogenic and ultra blurring for an airbrush finish. Y'all, I have to tell you that this is probably one of the most blurring foundations I have ever tried. I like to go in with a brush because I like the extra coverage. I like the extra cup I like the extra coverage and I don't want to go in with an extra layer. Like I don't want to build it up. I am okay with medium coverage, but if you don't want to build it up like me, use a brush, okay? So as you can see, immediately it blended out super, super nicely. And because I am using because I am using a more mattifying primer, this is definitely going to stay really matte for me, which is ideal. I'm going to bring this down to my neck. One of the things that I noticed when I was applying this foundation is that because we applied that primer that really just softens the skin and blurs it out, your skin is going to look ridiculously, ridiculously airbrushed. And it's so light on the skin. I know I've heard, I think I've heard Michaela, I think that's her name, Michaela. She mentioned how she felt like this foundation was heavy. I don't think so. I don't think it's heavy at all. I don't think it's the lightest foundation that I have for sure but it's definitely not heavy feeling whatsoever. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I'm not even being dramatic, but I 
I'm loving the way this foundation is looking. It makes my skin look super blurred, super smooth. So let's have a little look, um, a little close up, if you will. Like what? My pores definitely look a lot smaller and the foundation match, it's really not bad. Like I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so far I really like it. What, do I have any complaints? No. It just feels really, like, I don't feel like I'm, I feel like I'm wearing a foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's definitely light, but it's not the lightest foundation I have, but I do like how blurring it is. I do have to emphasize that the blurring, the blurring effect is really, like, there. You can really, really actually see it. So, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy it. This is not a tutorial. This is just a focus on the foundation. So I'm just gonna let you guys kind of like watch how I apply my makeup and then I'll show you how it looks after. I set my skin with the Urban Decay All Nighter and this is what my skin is looking like. Honestly, it looks really good. I do have a feeling that this is going to get oily for me, greasy for me in like the four or five hour mark. So we'll see if I'm correct. But, oh my gosh, my, my lash is coming off. So ignore that. Anyways, let's take a look up close. I mean, overall, it looks really, really good. The most shocking thing to me are my pores. Like, they look so, excuse me, they look so good. I am really, really impressed. So, I will go about my day, stay till the end of the video so you can see if this foundation is worth it because, girl, it's expensive. It's expensive. Let's see if this primer works because if it is, it's going to be my new go-to primer. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. Or a little bit for you and a few hours for me. <laughs> okay guys, so it is currently 9.24 at night. As you can see, it is pretty dark. I'm sitting in front of my vanity and I totally forgot to do check-ins throughout the day. I've had a busy day. We have volleyball practice and then we had Lincoln's, um, let me see Emma, it's kind of like karate classes, I forgot. I'm having, such a bad headache right now i i have such a bad headache right now um i even took a nap and this is what my makeup is looking like so when i first finished like my makeup looked amazing you guys oh my gosh 
even though I am oily, this is like typical oily skin for me unless I use a extremely mattifying primer. I love this foundation, okay? I just finished eating and I wiped off my makeup so some of it rubbed off because um, I had to clean my face, but my makeup overall looks really good. I mean, it's looking a little rough now, but throughout the day, it looked really good. I even had a girl compliment me. She's like, oh my gosh, your skin is so beautiful. I'm like, thank you. It's actually the foundation that I'm wearing. It's really good. I love it. I love, 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 love this foundation. Um, let me know what you guys think, but I don't know. It's pretty close up there to my Urban Decay, and this is like one of my absolute favorite foundations now ever since I discovered this. So that was a full day wear trying the new Huda Beauty filter foundation. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video.